that's nice. YouTube is a clear and this is the iPhone 8 Plus and this is the iPhone XR. Between these two phones, anong camera ba mas maganda for taking pictures, for selfie, for video filming, and for vlogging? If you're interested, if you're interested, Tara, pag-usapan natin. So sa specs, the iPhone 8 Plus pala has a dual camera sensor. So the first sensor, also known as the main lens or the wide lens, has 12 megapixels and has an f-stop 1.8 aperture. Tapos the second sensor naman, has the same megapixel count na may f-stop 2.8 aperture and it's known as the telephoto lens used for portrait shots. Tapos sa video filming naman, this one has a max resolution of 4K at 60fps. Tapos moving on sa front camera naman, we have a 7 megapixel sensor f-stop 2.2 aperture tapos a video resolution of 1080p at 30fps. So moving on sa iPhone XR, same lang din naman ang specifications ng main camera ng iPhone 8 Plus. 12 megapixels f-stop 1.8 aperture. So I think some of you are wondering, since this phone the iPhone XR doesn't have a second lens or the telephoto lens, can it take portrait shots? Well, the answer is definitely Yes. Basically, the iPhone XR has a software that relies on facial detection to take portrait shots. In other words, it can only take portrait shots na mga humans and not objects unlike the iPhone 8 Plus na may dedicated lens for that matter. Sa ibang salita, the iPhone 8 Plus because of the dedicated telephoto lens makes the phone capable to shoot portrait shots na mga animals, objects at iba pa. So, that's nice. Tapos sa video resolution, 4K at 60fps. Even sa front camera, same lang din naman, 7 megapixels and f-stop 2.2 aperture. Kaso nga lang sa video resolution, big upgrade, 1080p at 60fps, so that's nice. Let's start with the comparison. As you can tell sa mismong picture starting off sa mismong damit, sa iPhone 8 Plus you'll be noticing na medyo mas contrasty or mas sharper or clearer yung mismong kulay ng damit as compared sa iPhone 10 or na medyo washed out yung kulay. Tapos ba minsan man sa mismong face, sa eyes, sa eyebrows, sa lips, sa nose and all, mas may definition sa iPhone 8 Plus as compared sa iPhone 10 or na medyo mas smooth at the same time parang hindi pansin na may lipstick or in other words, parang nare-reduce ng iPhone 10 or sharpness ng mga makeup sa face natin or sa face ng mismo subject. Even by means sa overall background, sa slide, sa mismong giraffe, sa pintuan, sa billboard, or naming na mismong hotel, I mean like literally everything in the background ay much more contrasty and buhay na buhay yung naproproduce na colors ng mga objects. Tapos moving on naman, we have a picture of my family tapos yung background is yung mga Avengers superheroes like Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Superman. And if you'll be zooming in mismo sa picture ng family ko, parang same judgment lang kanina. Mas contrasty, mas punchier, and mas darker yung colors ng mga damit nila at the same time even their face and makeups. Tapos ba minsan naman sa mga superheroes as you can tell, sa iPhone A Plus medyo mas dark yung pagka-black ni Batman as compared sa iPhone XR na medyo grayish na similar to its body. Same din sa buhok ni Wonder Woman sa left side or sa right side rather sa iPhone 8 Plus, medyo mas black and natural yung mismong hair color as compared sa iPhone XR na medyo buhok na matanda or medyo buhok pang matanda na medyo may mga gray strands as well. Same din sa hair ni Batman tapos sa body ni Flash sa right side sa iPhone 8 Plus, medyo mas red yung pagka-red ng body ni Flash as compared sa iPhone XR na medyo may pagka-blown out na red. Tapos moving on with our last picture as you can tell, sobrang apparent ang difference. So sa left side sa iPhone XR as you can tell, may parang strand or ray or sunlight ray na nag-radiate sa mismong ground. In comparison with the iPhone 8 Plus na walang strand or walang ray na sunlight na I don't know what happened guys kasi I shot this two picture ng mga 5 second interval kumbaga after ko mag-shoot ng iPhone XR, mga after 5 second, I took a picture with the same subject. But ayun, other than that as you can tell, sobrang similar ng both pictures so basically I did not use any kind of software or mga photo enhancement, editing, and stuff like literally guys, ito yung mismong quality ng both phones. Kumbaga, built-in quality or fresh out of the box picture quality. So first, portrait picture as you can tell, sobrang apparent 
ng difference. Sa left side sa iPhone XR, mas bright yung overall appearance ko as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus. And that's because the iPhone XR has a lower aperture f-stop 1.8 as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus na may f-stop 2.8. Ibig sabihin nun guys, basically, lower aperture means mas madami light ang pwede makapasok. In other words, mas makapagproduce ang isang phone ng much more brighter appearance as compared sa isang phone na may higher aperture. So yun, anyways, moving on sa right side, as you can tell sa damit ko, medyo mas dark yung pagka-red ng damit ko. As compared sa left side sa iPhone XR, medyo mas light yung pagka-red niya, same with my braso and my necklace mismo. Even sa mismong face mask ko, mas black siya, even my neck as well. Same goes sa mismong appearance ng face ko, medyo madami siyang dark spots. At the same time, medyo may mga slight appearance ng shadow sa face ko as compared sa iPhone XR na talaga naman na sobrang smooth. Tapos moving on is a portrait picture ni Mama. So in this case, talagang mas nagustuhan ko yung na-produce na colors ng iPhone XR as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus na for me medyo dull tingnan. So sa mismong damit pa lang speaks for itself, mas maliwalas or mas vibrant yung color production sa iPhone XR as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus. Even sa mismong hair color as you can tell, mas punchy yung pagka hazelnut na mga hair strands as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus na medyo dull at the same time medyo patay siya. Tapos even sa mismong face and makeup as you can tell, mas sharper yung pagka red ng lipstick sa iPhone XR as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus na medyo patay yung kulay or medyo mas natural or walang kulay yung lips. Even sa mismong cheeks as you can tell, mas present or talagang kitang kita yung mga blemishes as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus na medyo tago or hindi ka nung pansin. And yeah, overall mas naging smooth yung face ng subject natin. Kumbaga yung mga pimples, mga imperfections ay hindi ka nung halata sa iPhone XR. Even by means sa mismong background, mas nagustuhan ko yung pagka-blur ng iPhone XR as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus. As you can see, no, medyo visible pa yung background, yung mismong bambo na upon as compared sa iPhone XR na talagang blurred out. Tapos in this picture, as you can tell sa buho ko muna, sa iPhone 8 Plus medyo mas sharp at the same time medyo mas dark as compared sa iPhone XR na as you can tell, medyo mas smooth tingnan. Sa iPhone 8 Plus, as you can tell, medyo mas dry tingnan yung buho ko at the same time, para medyo magulong tingnan yung buho ko in comparison sa iPhone XR na slightly fresh and smooth tingnan. Tapos sa mismong face ko naman sa iPhone 8 Plus, as you can tell, sobrang sharp and harsh tingnan. Kumbaga sobrang bakat na bakat yung mga pimples ko at the same time, medyo pansin yung mga dark spots sa face ko. Unlike sa iPhone XR, do kita pa rin naman, however in this case, medyo mas smooth na siyang tingnan as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus na again, sobrang duming tingnan. Even sa mismong ray of light sa iPhone XR, as you can tell, medyo nag-blend siya, unlike sa iPhone 8 Plus na medyo na-distort yung face ko. Tapos next naman is a photo of my sister so as you can tell, sobrang similar ng both pictures. Ang pinaka main difference lang naman between these two photos is that sa iPhone XR sa left side, mas malawak yung field of view as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus. Kumbaga in other words, mas madaming details ang nakukuha ng iPhone XR. And that's because the iPhone XR has a lower focal length as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus. Ibig sabihin lang nun sa camera field, kapag mas mababa yung focal length, mas malawak yung angle na kayang kunan ng isang camera. But other than that, I can say naman na sobrang similar ng both pictures, na sobrang gandang tingnan. So in this picture, I am more in favor sa quality ng iPhone XR as compared sa iPhone 8 Plus. Kasi kapag zinumin natin yung photo, we will be seeing more details. In contrast, sa iPhone 8 Plus na medyo washed out yung edges at the same time, medyo blown out yung colors. Saka sa profile na sister ko sa right side, you'll be seeing na medyo may strand ng lighting sa face niya which totally obstructs the view. At the same time, napansin ko na yung face ng mother ko in this picture, mas naging soft sa picture ng iPhone XR at the same time, mas naging fresh siyang tingnan. So next naman, we have a selfie of me and my sister and based on my own findings, I can say na sobrang nabigyan ng justice ng iPhone 8 Plus yung realistic or true to life color ng general image. In other words, talagang pulido yung color accuracy ng mga major subjects sa picture. Like take for instance yung face mask sa iPhone 8 Plus sa right side, sobrang black na black, sobrang crispy. At the same time, sobrang sharp and saktong sakto lang yung black point ng buhok ko. Even sa side ng sister ko, I can say na sobrang nabigyan ng justice yung simetry yung na face niya and in addition sobrang visible ng kumbaga ng practicals na nasa face niya like yung eyebrows niya, yung eyes niya, lips and teeth. Sobrang clear and decent so that's nice. Tapos next photo naman, same subjects. Kaso nga lang in this case, I have a parang medyo mixed feelings or mixed opinions about this one kumbaga each picture has its own pros and cons. Sa iPhone XR sa left side medyo napansin ko na yung face ng sister ko is medyo overexposed kumbaga parang hindi balance yung timpla ng lighting. Unlike sa right side, sa iPhone 
Sony Plus, sakto-sakto lang yung lighting na napoproduce or tumatama sa medyo malapad na forehead na sister ko. So, that's nice. Even sa mismong face mask sa left side, damay din. Overexposed as well in contrast sa iPhone 8 Plus sa right side. Maganda yung sinag ng lighting sa specific part na yun. However, in terms naman sa akin sa picture na ito, mas nagustuhan ko yung naproduce ng iPhone XR. Simply because, mas nag-pop out yung appearance ko and I don't look like a shadow ng sister ko. And that's because, mas naging vivid yung general appearance ko. Especially yung t-shirt ko no, sa left side, mas nagproduce siya or nag-result to a bright red in contrast sa iPhone 8 Plus na medyo may pagka-bloody red. Same with the color of my necklace. So, sa left side, as you can tell, mas nagmukha siyang stainless steel. Unlike sa iPhone 8 Plus, sa right side, medyo parang kinakalawang na kadena ng bike. Sa kawan, major difference to take notice that sa right side sa iPhone 8 Plus, as you can tell sa face ko or sa forehead ko banda, medyo shadowy siya at the same time may mga dark spots ako sa forehead na, colloquially speaking, medyo mukhang libag. <laughs> Tapos moving on sa left side, though meron pa rin naman, visible pa rin naman, kaso medyo minimal nga lang and not too dark in contrast sa 8 plus na talaga naman na sobrang itim. Even sa mismong background din, mas nagustuhan ko yung sa iPhone XR and that's because yung color ng roof is more yellow or mas punchy yung pagka-yellow. Unlike sa iPhone 8 plus na again, medyo nagkakaroon or medyo may mga nagsusirculate na dark spots. Tapos next naman, we have a picture of me na naka-heart sign and napansin ko, medyo mukha akong opa dito. Anyways, in my case, talagang mas nagustuhan ko yung na-produce na picture ng iPhone 8 Plus or sa right side as compared sa iPhone XR. Kasi I think naman the difference is pretty obvious. Sa hair ko pa lang, sa face mask and my t-shirt, talaga nagpo-produce ng more punchy colors. Unlike sa left side, napansin ko na medyo nagmukha akong matanda kasi yung hair ko is mukhang gray. In comparison sa real life na talagang black yung hair ko. Though wag naman natin ganong i-discredit yung iPhone XR. Looking on the right side in the specific picture, perhaps sa iPhone XR kasi talaga na smooth then yung forehead ko na malaming pimples unlike sa iPhone 8 Plus na sobrang visible na hindi lang pimples yung kita pati na rin yung mga red spots but overall sadly again I'll be giving this point or my point to the iPhone 8 Plus mas maganda yung photo production especially mas punchy and crispy colors and talaga nag stick yung iPhone 8 Plus na natural color ng general appearance ko kapag tumitingin sa salamin at the same time in real life so next naman we have a picture of my family without my sister so babay muna but anyways so same judgment guys pretty straight straightforward and apparent, deeper black sa face mask, sa buhok ko, sa eyeglasses, sa t-shirt ko, sa t-shirt ni papa and his pants. Like basically, yung overall picture is more punchy, more vivid and darker yung colors. Tapos small detail na napansin ko when we zoom in sa mga trees sa likod sa background. Sa iPhone XR, napansin ko na medyo na washed out yung tunay na color ng trees or ng leaves. In contrast sa iPhone 8 Plus na talaga nag yung greeny or green color appearance ng trees or ng leaves. Last comparison, we have a picture of me, Archer, and my sister. So if you'll be noticing my sister sa right side, more specifically sa may bandang eyes niya, para siyang may black eye na ewan, or medyo may mga dark spots sa face niya or sa eyes niya rather. Unlike sa left side, talaga na-retain na iPhone XR, yung legit skin color ng sister ko, kaya as you can tell, hindi ganong nakapag-produce ng shadows or dark spots sa may bandang eyelids. Unlike sa left side, talaga na-retain na iPhone XR, yung skin color ng sister ko in real life. Same with me sa background, mas nagustuhan ko yung sa iPhone XR, kasi it made me feel na mas mukha akong protagonist unlike sa iPhone 8 Plus sa right side. Medyo dark or shadowy yung aura or appearance ko sa back part or sa background rather. So sa video filming naman, I can say na both phones can produce decent shots. However, based from my observation, napansin ko na medyo similar yung quality ng both phones. And that's because technically, same lang sila ng specifications. Same megapixel count, same aperture, and same max resolution, 4K at 60fps. Kaya talagang pansin na both phones can produce stabilized video especially with the 60fps as compared sa mga phones na or ibang mga phones na may 30fps na medyo malag or hindi ganun smooth yung videos whenever they swerve their phones. Kaso nga lang yung pinaka major upgrade in terms of video comparison is the front camera. Though both phones naman can capture Full HD 1080p kaso nga lang sa iPhone XR, this phone can capture Full HD 60fps. Ibig sabihin lang nun kung baga sa refresh rate, the higher the refresh rate, the smoother the navigation can be. But in this case, since we're talking about cameras, yung 60fps obviously can capture more frames or more details ng videos. So basically, yung videos will not appear to be lag or shaky as compared sa 30fps ng iPhone 8 Plus. However, either way naman is fine and as a matter of fact, madam kami pa naman ang gumagamit ng 30fps. However, in my case, I prefer yung smoother experience sa A-roll and B-roll para maging maganda yung pagka-complement ng two parts or two elements ng tech review. 
So in guys, that's pretty much my camera comparison between these two phones but before we end this video, I'll be sharing my two cents muna guys so let's go. So in terms of portrait shots, mas nagustuhan ko yung sa iPhone XR. Kasi hindi ganong halata or sharpened yung mga dark spots of face ko at the same time, very smooth yung mga pictures. I mean, di naman totally super smooth. It's just that medyo smooth nga lang siya in contrast sa mga other iPhone lineups. Kaso nga lang yung major problem or con about this one is that since this phone uses facial detection to take portrait shots, ibig sabihin kapag may nakarang sa face natin like face shield, face mask, or even glasses, it cannot take portrait shots. As compared sa iPhone 8 Plus, it can because may second telephoto lens used for portrait shots. At the same time, the iPhone 8 Plus can take portrait shots ng mga objects and animals. And that for me is a big disadvantage. And as a person na gumagamit ng iPhone XR as my main phone, talagang disadvantage siya. Kasi number one, we have an alaga or pet na aso named Archer. So talagang I love taking pictures of him. Kaso nga lang again, hindi kayang i-recognize ng portrait sensor ng XR yung mga aso. Kaya talagang masakit sa damdamin. Tapos by the way, small observation lang, napansin ko na the iPhone XR can take slightly wider shots in comparison sa iPhone 8 Plus. Kaso hindi naman siya totally noticeable but ayun, share ko lang. The iPhone XR can take portrait shots using the front cam. Kumbaga, you can take selfies na blurred yung background in contrast sa iPhone 8 Plus na hindi kayang gawin yun. And lastly for vlogging from my subjective opinion, definitely mas maganda yung sa iPhone XR. And by the way, fun fact, most of my videos were filmed using the iPhone XR back then. So yun, in conclusion for me, medyo hati yung opinion ko about this one. In my opinion, for taking selfies for vlogging using the front cam, mas maganda yung sa iPhone XR. Kaso, for taking casual photos, taking portrait shots, especially ng mga animals, objects, definitely mas maganda yung sa iPhone 8 Plus. So, ayun. So guys, if you learned something from this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, in this YouTube channel so thank you very much. So that's been it. Catch you in the next one. Peace.